Welcome to the BWB training series. Today we will be looking at how to set up a tray using the BWB Auto Fluid Handling System and the BWB Bio Flame Photometer. The AFHS has been designed to automate the calibration and sampling workflow. Your AFHS can accommodate up to 89 samples. From the main menu, select serum or urine and your irons of interest. Select number 8, AFHS. Note AFHS interface must be on. Now choose Tray Setup. A tray ID number, 0 to 99, can be entered for future reference. The size of the tray, 1 to 89, is the number of samples to be tested. During a run, the calibration can vary. For example, atmospheric conditions can change the flame characteristics. To accommodate for this, a calibration correction standard is placed at the positions specified under the Recalib menu. This allows for corrections to be performed at set intervals throughout the test run. Up to five positions can be specified. The active ions for the particular test will be corrected at those points. Option 4 allows you to view the automatically set dilution ratio. Sodium and potassium have a dilution ratio of 100 to 1, whereas lithium and calcium have a dilution ratio of 10 to 1. The previous results can be erased using clear. When the tray details have been entered, press back and select start to commence the test run. But make sure there is sufficient diluent in the reservoir first. The testing will be paused if the reservoir runs out of diluent. Upon topping it back up, the testing will automatically start again from where it left off. A blank correction is performed at the start of each test. The large pot on the left side of the auto sampler should be filled with DI only. The test should then continue to completion without further intervention. Each result will be printed, if the printer is on, and sent to the FPPC software. These can be captured in the Report tab by checking the Auto Read checkbox. When the run has finished, the results can be retrieved via Results, printed again, or uploaded to FPPC software via AFHS tab Retrieve. Once the results have been transferred to the FPPC software, they can be formatted into suitable reports in CSV or PDF formats and stored at a convenient location on the user's PC or network. Calibration corrections can be carried out individually if required. Calibration solutions are provided for urine and serum. To keep the instrument at peak accuracy, it is recommended to undertake regular calibration corrections. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will be calibrating for serum with sodium and potassium as the ions of interest. From the BWB Bio main menu, select Serum and press Accept. Now select Sodium Potassium. Select Calibrations. Select Correct. And finally, select Correct Blank. The AFHS will now read the sample solution and will correct the blank reading upon completion. First off, pour the calibration solution into a vial and place in the first position of the AFHS carousel. From the BWB Bio main menu, using either the keypad or the up and down arrows, select Serum and press Accept. Now select Sodium Potassium. Select Calibrations, select Correct, and finally select Correct Calibration. The AFHS will then proceed to take a reading and recalibrate the curve. The process only takes a couple of minutes and helps to ensure that your BWB Bio is running at peak accuracy. For more information on BWB flame photometers, head over to bwbtech.com where you can find more video tutorials, FAQs and a wealth of additional information. Thanks for watching and see you next time.